Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to go over how to recover your Windows installation from corruption. Signs of corruption can be are things like whenever you start up your computer, you get weird errors that you have to press OK on whenever you first start it up. Or whenever you do certain functions in Windows, you get weird errors telling you to do this or that in order to fix it. Basically, if you see any weird error that isn't really directly linked to a program, it's just a random error. You can't really find much things about it. It means that your Windows is somehow some way corrupted now there's a lot of ways your windows can get corrupted and this can cause even blue screens and other issues so it's a really important topic to cover and it's really important to realize what could cause the corruption some of the things that can cause corruption are ram instability so if your ram is unstable this will 100 percent cause corruption and it will happen fast so if you have unstable ram that is one of it and the second thing is having unstable ssds or an old hard drive or ssd if you're SSD is about to die or if your hard drive is about to die then your windows will start becoming slower opening programs become slower and you'll just get weird errors here and there and third thing is just having an unstable overclock on either your ram cpu or whatever computer part you overclocked in your pc if that's the case then you need to remove that overclock or turn it down and the fourth thing is drivers that are corrupted so things like nvidia drivers or drivers for other programs they can cause errors or blue screen sometimes if they are corrupted Corrupted. So make sure you use updated drivers that are up to date, or if you know that the latest drivers cause issues, then roll back to older ones. But without further ado, let's get right into basically what commands that you can run and what you should do if your Windows is corrupted. So the first thing that you want to do if your Windows is indeed corrupted is all you want to do is go to your file explorer, go to this PC, right click on your C drive, and then you need to click properties. You're going to go to tools, you're going to click a check under error checking, and just click scan drive. And what this is going to do is it's going to scan the whole entire drive and see if there's any errors in your drive if there is it will say that it needs to restart and repair and if it does show that up just click restart repair and it'll restart your pc and start repairing those files and this mostly if there's an issue with it this will most likely fix it just because i've had a person who had unstable ram before and his os was corrupted so using this and a couple other commands fixed it by the way guys if you are optimized by me there's not really a need to run any of these i know a lot of my clients watch my videos just if you do happen to be watching this just you know have to do this unless you have issues then just message me but let's continue the next few commands are just going to be in cmd so just in your search bar type cmd run this as administrator that's really important and then the first command that we're going to type is sfsle slash scan now and press enter and then what this is going to do is it's going to scan your whole entire pc so if you ran the error checking before then you need to restart your pc before it is this command and with this command it's going to scan your whole entire drive check if there's any weird windows files that need to be replaced if that happens it will tell you that and then it'll just tell you then you just restart and we're going to go move on to the next command after this restart so once you restarted from the prior two things that you've done all you want to do is just open up your cmd as administrator again and then go to the description and you're going to copy that whole command that begins with dism once you've copied it just paste it into here and then press enter and what this command is going to do is basically just check so over for the online servers basically make sure that all the files in your pc are being checked over and if there's any missing files or corrupted files or weird named files it will try to replace them with files that are fresh and from a proper windows installation so this is going to take a bit so if you do have a slow hard drive just keep this in mind this will take a little bit of time if you have an ssd this won't really take that long just wait for it so come back once it's done so as you see the operation has completed successfully and all you have to do now is just restart and realistically guys that should cover most of the corruption if you have any now sadly if this this still did not fix your issues then there is an underlying issue with your computer that has nothing to do really with windows and to verify that you could just do a reinstallation of windows now you might be watching this video just to avoid that whole reason to reinstall but reinstalling windows is practically the only way to 100 percent get rid of corruption if there is any so if you guys want to reinstall your windows then just follow one of my reinstallation videos on windows or reset videos windows and you can just easily reset your pc properly without a usb stick or with a usb stick using that method on either one of my videos that I posted but that's going to pretty much cover all of the corruption that is related to the os 
OS and how to fix it. Now, again, if your RAM's unstable, if your system is unstable, or if you're using a buggy driver, you know, have issues. Another one is just having an old SSD or old hard drive. So if you have either one of those, maybe it's just time to go grab a new SSD. Maybe it's just time to move on from that old dirty hard drive and go get an actual SSD that is faster and will boot up your PC within a minute or two. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this fixed your corruption within Windows, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I do a lot of videos that are really helpful. And if you guys are interested in a full PC optimization service where we go over all your system, make sure it's stable. First of all, if there's any problems, I address them and then get your Windows reinstalled, pre-optimized, pre deloaded and all that jazz. And now we just new overclocking services in our Discord. So if you are interested in overclocking your computer properly and avoiding corruption and avoiding instability, then join my Discord server. We have two overclocking specialists that are highly, highly, highly specialized in overclocking your CPU, RAM, and graphics card. So if you're interested, just join my Discord server and open a ticket with either one of my overclockers. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.